Oh no. Welcome back to your daily dose, everybody. We're hoping we have some fireworks tonight. We'll see. It's raining. It smells really good, though, because we're right above the Whispering Cannon. Yes. <laughs> Makes me want to go back for um, cor cordials, but if you guys didn't know, if you missed yesterday's vlog, or just picking us this up sometime random, we're staying club level here at the Wilderness Lodge. It's amazing. So far, our favorite. We've only done the Contemporary and the Wilderness Lodge, but this one... This one ranks number one. Number one. One out of two. One out of two. Hopefully, this passes, because we've got a beautiful... Beautiful fireworks view tonight. I think we'll be fine, right? I think so. I think it'll be quick. It's already seemed to be slowing down a little bit. I think fireworks will still happen. Yeah. Yeah. I think the rain has stopped already, so fireworks viewing should be good tonight. Should be good. That's not good. Got a pretty big downfall of rain. Got a pretty big downpour right now. Oh, wow, I'm getting wet. Not looking good. Yikes. Not. 25 minutes. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope for the best. <laughs> Guys, it's downpouring. And they're doing the fireworks. <laughs> the oh, magic God. must continue. <laughs> I think they'll still show fireworks if it's not thundering or lightning. If it's just raining, they'll do it. Comment down below if you guys ever seen a fireworks show in the downpour. Honestly, we kind of have an obstructed firework viewing. Because this building right here is kind of blocking it a little bit. Good to know. And that concludes our day. Good morning, everybody. No rope drop today. But doesn't this look like something kind of out of your dreams? To me, it just looks like like the Disney, Disney art that you just see the castle all the way in the forest. Don't mind that, but, ugh, I'm gonna miss this. We're checking out of club, obviously today, or just the Wilderness Lodge. We're gonna get some breakfast, see what they have available. You go by the pool and just kind of have a really chill, relaxing day. I think Casey and I are also going to make some food tonight. I know you guys like our food vlogs. And remember, all of this club breakfast you guys are about to see is completely included. I love staying club here at Walt Disney World. The only problem is there's not that many club rooms open. Just here on this floor, I believe there's 24 rooms. Now you can stay club anywhere, somewhere else if it's available. But there's technically, to my account, only 24 rooms. That's our room right there. And we have these nice little tiny windows outside that have a really beautiful view. That one. And then we have this one. Oops. There is a trash bag right there. But look at that. That was there. Fun fact again, I still can't believe you can enjoy this lounge club level all day on checkout day. Super nice. Till 11.59 p.m. Let's on see the what day they have. Checkout. Technically not. Till 11.59. Why? Because the food's not open. We'll get into oh, that. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> what do we have for breakfast? It smells like eggs. I see some bacon over there. We got some muffins, cinnabons, croissants, hard boiled egg. Similar to um, Contemporary, we got some salmon, <gasps> some berries. Raspberries, okay, overnight oats, dried cranberries, dried raisins, apricots. They have oatmeal. Huh. Okay. Now here's what looks good over here to my left. Turkey bacon, never really seen that on Disney property, and pancakes. And then we've got some eggs, which might look like Disney property eggs. We'll give, them a, we'll give them a try. Nice. I already, I already got my plate. Ready. <laughs> Casey's ready to go. Yeah. And then of course, some of the best coffee that you can have on Disney property comes from right here. Yes. So good, I'll make it. We also do have some bread, bagels, English muffin down here. And they changed out this quick stuff for uh, cereal. And you do have milk as well, which is in the refrigerator right here. 
have a look at this. What do you guys think? Casey went pretty uh, simpler than I did. But look at this. Oh, yeah. And we can get whatever we want. And we've got breakfast with a view. It's like we're technically on a cruise ship. Amazing. And there's club over there. Where should we stay club next? Now the problem is it's not always available, but I'll keep looking. I really want to try Animal Kingdom. I think a lot of you guys said, had said Animal Kingdom Lodge. So I'll try to go for that, but I'll pretty much try to get the next one that is available. Also, I'm going to be starting to switch to moderate resorts in here and possibly Universal. I might like turkey bacon regular than regular bacon. That's good. Also, overnights, overnight oats, amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I'm going to get back for more. All right, so I will say this is one of the biggest differences that we've noticed, and it actually happened last night. Remember, we've only been to the Contemporary and the Old Faithful Club here at the Wilderness Lodge. But the one of the Contemporary actually technically kind of stays open 24 hours, meaning they don't lock it. So they have inside the fridge grapes, apples, PB&J sandwiches, and some water. Here at the Old Faithful Club, they actually close it when it's closed. I don't know why or what the reason is because, you know, the contemporary keeps theirs open because we came there at like, we wanted to see the lobby at midnight. We came out, we were looking for some like sandwiches and it was locked. So keep that in mind, this one closes when it closes. I don't know if it's like a big deal for many of you guys, but yeah, just letting you know, this one's not 24 hours. Something you can do to actually counter that is you can go on in and they can actually set some snacks up in your room for you at night, put it in your refrigerator. They just told me that, so, you know, they can do that. They can really, they can kind of do anything you want in a way, which is why I like saying club. They can help you get lightning lanes, they can do that. Had no idea that they could go in your room and give you snacks, so if you're in the parks and you want to get snacks in your room, tell them and they'll do that. Something we've noticed is that if you stay here for more than a couple days, this, the cast members seem to remember other guests' names We've been seeing them, they're just chatting about their days, and it seems like they remember them. So it's just a heightened level of quality and service here. By the way, you leave your stuff here and they, they come grab it. It's like a cruise ship. We uh, tried to give them some extra gratuity, but they don't accept tips. They don't, but they did say that in lieu of tips, you can always send a cast compliment if the cast member has done a great job. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. One last look at this beautiful view. We're gonna head on out and go to the pool. We don't know if we're gonna cook anymore today. We'll see. We might actually end up going to Disney Springs, but I'm gonna miss this. Bye-bye room. Bye-bye. Bed was super comfortable, by the way. Same with the pillows. Mm -hmm. Loved it. I'm gonna miss that view. Same. I already said goodbye. Goodbye. Save your tears for another day. This song reminds me of how many more nights last year. These elevators, by the way, too, are super duper nice. Like, look at the detail and the ceiling. When we stay at a valley resort, just remember this, because we will not get this. Even the ground, too. They redid them, I think, in, um, oh yeah, that railing's cool. You were there? Mm -hmm. They redid them in 2019, 2020? There we go. We're just gonna head back to the car, put her stuff away, and then go on into the pool. Just probably for a little bit. Just, you know, we gotta use these towels too while we're here, right? Oh yeah. Super cool that they gave this to us. Look at it. It's Casey. It's Mickey. <laughs> Mickey. We're gonna be going to the big pool, not the one over by Boulder Ridge. We checked out the Boulder Ridge one last time we were here, so now we have to check out this one. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I finally caught the geyser going off. Finally. 10.58, every hour at this time. 
the natural geyser goes off. Cool that they have that, right? It's right by the main pool. That's so fun. Finally, right? Finally. Pool time. Don't know how much we're gonna film, but we are gonna enjoy it. It's pretty packed already, actually. I think it just opened at what? 10? This is the more party side of the pool. Boulder Ridge where we were, our other staycation, but when we enjoyed it, more packed, I mean less packed. It does open at 10. One of the best pools on property, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Because of that. See that rectangle, sorry, the... Actually, yeah, the rectangle window up there? That's where we stayed, all the way up there. We're just gonna go take a dip and enjoy it off camera and we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit here. Nice little half hour dip here. We're actually gonna go back up onto club level to see if they have any different snacks from yesterday because I believe that begins right now and we actually think we're gonna park hop but resort hop yeah. because Grand Florian actually is under construction right now and I'm gonna go see what the state of that is in. We're just going with the flow today. We're checking out and we're just chilling. That's what staycations are for. <laughs> you guys know the drill by now. Comment down below where you want us to go next club. Which club should we visit? But the problem again is, I think I already said it earlier, is availability. Mm -hmm. It's not that many rooms we've learned that can be upgraded to club level. They do sell it pretty quick. It's a club probably one last time. Here we go. I kind of feel like we just ate, but we're both hungry. What's new? What's new? <laughs> we do have a few changes. They've changed the dip. We got a yogurt dip, feta dip, and then a roasted pepper dip. Chips are the same. Your, your vegetables are the same. Crudite. Yeah, crudite. I believe this cookie's different. Um, looks like this is the same actually from, from breakfast. So the snacks, Looks like the dips kind of change. The dips are confirmed good. Feta is my favorite by the then the pepper and then the mm. yogurt. Really good. Really good. I'm trying to that one. I feel like I'm at like a like a Thanksgiving party, you know, like a family mm -hmm. reunion. Mm. I need you guys to follow us. Well, you don't really have a choice unless you click on the, off this video. Don't do that. We're going to take a really beautiful way to the Grand Floridian. Follow us. We're gonna take the boat over to the Magic Kingdom and then go to the um, Grand Floridian, but Casey and I still can't get over or view because it's like what you see in the commercials or before the movies. Looks like you have to go through a forest to get to the Magic Kingdom. That view is just amazing. Yeah. Just amazing. not what we were expecting because we didn't pay for a theme park view. And I would say even though you couldn't see all of the fireworks last night, it was a little obstructed. It was still just looking at the castle it makes still up for incredible. It. Now I did notice this over here not club rooms. You can't even go over there from the seventh floor. So that's just regular Wilderness Lodge. That's all regular Wilderness Lodge. You might be asking, what are they doing over at the Grand Floridian? Well, they've kind of been in a year refurbishment, redoing the DVC rooms, which we saw the first day and then they've been doing pretty much all the other buildings. Now they're in the main building, and I think they're all getting the same type Mary Poppin rooms. Um, but we're gonna go to the lobby just to show you. I have no idea what the construction looks like. I'm really curious, and I'm curious to see how loud it is too. Look how magical this is. We've got a boat waiting for us. That is what you like to see. Looks like we're gonna be some of the first ones on. Yeah, this is magical. This like never happens. I'll take it.
On we go. Here's fine. It's nice that they sit here and, and actually look for guests to be coming. Yes. This happens every like what, 25, 20 minutes? It's about 20 minutes, yes. Caught it at the great time. Great time. So it's a little unfortunate if you just miss it and then you have to wait in the sun, but this one's nice because they actually have a covered area where you can wait. Buses come too at the front, but this is way cooler. Yeah, we don't do this often. Hands, arms, feet, and legs inside our boat at all times. And supervise your children. Now relax and enjoy your cruise. And we'll have you at your port of call in just a few minutes. Thanks for taking us. Yeah, I like that they say port of call. Now, even though Casey and I have stayed here so many times, there's two things we really haven't stayed here. A cabin, and then Boulder Ridge also has new rooms. So we still can come back here twice. Let me know if you guys want to see those. But um, we're, we're, we're down to go somewhere else. I think we already, we already have um, next Sunday booked. But um, yeah, we can come back. We love this resort. Nothing like a boat ride over to the Magic Kingdom. It's this, pretty great. I would say this is my number one way of transportation here at Disney World, followed by the Skyliner. What's yours? I like to parachute in. That's a good way. Yeah, I like that way. It's the best. Yeah. Next stop, the Grand Floridian. That's actually our boat, right there. Oh, so we might time it perfectly. Yeah, we might time this perfectly. There's a boat to the Magic Kingdom, uh, sorry, there's a boat from the Magic Kingdom to the Grand Floridian and the Polynesian. Getting all the beautiful shots today. Welcome to the Magic Kingdom. Isn't that pretty? We seriously timed that so perfectly. There's our next boat. Weird showing up and not going in. Very strange. Next up, Grand Floridian. We could also walk. We'll see if we make it on. There's a lot of people actually. I think we'll be fine. Not sure if you guys noticed, but my videos now come in at 4K. More on this on Friday. You can switch it over and put up your quality to 4K. Trust me, it's better. Try it out. <laughs> you accidentally It's a good it. way to accidentally go yeah. somewhere. All of these outside buildings are finally done. It's just the main lobby now. I don't really know the time frame, but it's nice to see that these are finally all done. I think the last time we were here, there was, there was walls up everywhere. It, it, I've been trying to update you guys on the ground, but it's been an ongoing project for, for a while. I already see some walls up over by the lobby. Let's go check it out. I already see one change is actually geared towards the kiddos. They look oh, like cool. looks like they moved all the lawn game, games to the back lawn, which I like because there's actually good grass back here. I actually remember you pointing out this specific grass. So now if uh, you guys want, it's back here. It's actually a little bit bigger of a spot too, which is super nice. But can you guys see those walls? Let's go check it out. Sort of kind of feels like we are at Epcot with the Mall of Mazes. Ooh, check out over there. That's where the quick service is. Welcome to uh, the Grand Flow, everybody. They're redoing all of these rooms, which is probably gonna take a while. So keep in mind, this is gonna be here. Don't know how loud it is, because we are filming this on a Sunday. No construction on weekends. So here's a big change. Obviously with the Gasparilla, they kind of have to do something because they have so many scaffolding here that um watch this you guys will see in a second as we come on down here check this out you gotta go in through here interesting right you can smell a lot of paint but that's how you get to the gasparilla black was not the shirt to wear today it's hot hot hot, hot my hot, bathing suit on so it's actually keeping me kind of cool <laughs> it's a smart idea <laughs> The main lobby is what I'm very interested to check out here because they're redoing the main lobby. And to get to the main lobby, they kind of have a nice little garden you walk through now because they're trying to protect what's beyond these walls. Their construction vehicles, I think they're 
trying to protect so you can see this foliage. Yeah. It is pretty much kind of protecting beautiful. it, yeah. Looks great. They're just trying to not make it seem as construction-y. Oh God, I don't want to go out. See, not too bad. Quick little scan before we head on in. See, they're doing the best to try to cover it up, but let's see what the main lobby looks like. Wait. Okay, it's really not that. Oh, look at that. I didn't know they're doing the front front. I think they're actually changing up the carpet too. So that's why this whole lobby is kind of like blocked off there. You see that? That's really beautiful right there. But look at that. Everything is locked off. Can't really tell, but I'm sure once they're working, it's probably really loud. But don't quote me on that, you know, just kind of my, my guess. This will probably be next because I'm pretty sure they are doing the carpet. And that's why this is kind of just all blocked off. I wonder what this looks like from the front. We'll check it out. What do you guys think? I don't know how long this is gonna take either. That doesn't really bother me up there. That's just whatever, because it's just rooms and natural light. To be quite frank, it's really not that bad. It, it's not bothering me at all. I always like when there's refurbs just because there's something always better around the corner. Can't wait to see what it looks like. As soon as it's done, we'll be back. We're gonna take the monorail back and they do have some foliage actually outside of the monorail. Don't know why, but it's here. We're having a perfect transportation day. Just got here and the monorail's here too. one cloud in there. It's very weird. Just showing up here and not going in. We're gonna take the bus and we're gonna show you guys all the transportation. We're gonna take the bus. Yeah, except for the Skyliner. I don't know what's going on, but we haven't waited for one transportation. Amazing. I think we're gonna end it on the bus ride back to Wilderness Lodge. We might as well. We might as well. Um, do you have anything to say? Today was a really fun day. It's a lot. It's still really early, so yeah. It's only what? 120. Well, it's 120, but 120. I feel like we've done like a whole day. So. <laughs> we've done a lot. In like four hours. It may seem like, like not to you guys, but like we chilled at the pool for like, I don't know, 45, 40 yeah. minutes. Yeah. It was fun. It was, it was great. Fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this one a little bit more chillax. Um, we were gonna have a cooking video, but we're gonna move that probably to something else. We're probably just gonna go on a walk off camera and just chill. Yeah. And do coupley things. So with that, see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.